Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Green Chef. This is my first experience with Green Chef, but basically it's a meal in a box shipped to your door. So we try to eat healthy. My wife and I try to eat healthy as best we can. A lot of times we'll juice for lunch or we'll make a nice healthy lunch. Well, Green Chef sent us a few different options to try out this month. Chicken and broccoli bowls, Southwest stuffed turkey peppers, Southwest turkey stuffed peppers. And what we're gonna be cooking today is honey citrus glazed salmon. So Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time. They're changing the meal kit subscription game with options for every lifestyle, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. When the kids are at school, it's just DJ and DJ and I home. We like to eat healthy. And something like Green Chef is gonna send you the entire meal kit with all these healthy ingredients, step-by-step -step instructions that make this stuff super simple and super easy, perfect, convenient, easy lunch. And with so many different options, there's basically some something for everyone. With all the different diet options, I know everyone has different needs, whether it's the, the paleo, the keto, the vegan, vegetarian, pretty much something for everyone. So if you want to check out Green Chef, go to greenchef.com and use code ARMSFAMILY130 to save $130, plus you'll get free shipping. It's good. It's mm -hmm. good. It's a healthy lunch. You're welcome, by the way. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and I've got the trailer, the livestock trailer, hooked on to my pickup truck. And I would say that could only mean one thing. But I think it could mean two. Either we've got new animals coming to the farm or someone's leaving. I vote we kick someone off the ship. <laughs> Who would that ever be? <laughs> Besides some roosters. Some roosters and some goats, probably. <gasps> yeah, that's true. Which, so, DJ. Yeah. DJ did it again. I did. You have this habit or an addiction. Yeah. Pepper wants out. Look at it. She's moving the whole the whole gate. She's like pepper says you brought me a boyfriend <laughs> we did not bring her a boyfriend no we did bring someone a boyfriend yeah so we've talked about this for a while we've we've got an issue and i don't mean too many roosters and i don't mean too many cows <laughs> everybody got something to say today yeah yeah pepper wants a boyfriend but that's not what we're doing DJ could have, could, she could have been bringing in more mini donkeys because I think if, if it was up to her, we'd have about 12 more. Yeah, I would love some more of those for sure. I vetoed that. I said, you've got, we've got, no, we didn't need more mini donkeys. I don't think that's fair But we true, but. We have had this issue with one certain fellow here not doing his job. He shook his head no. He definitely did. Did you see that? Yeah. He shook his head no. He did. So Rufus has not been performing as of lately. No. And by lately, I mean like the last year. Mm-hmm. So it's time for Rufus to go. No. Rufus isn't going. I mean, part of him is going to go eventually, but not, not him entirely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Rufus, your man parts are in danger um can't we can't get rid of rufus that's the thing we do want to breed our female alpacas it's been way over a year since we had it's been like a year and a half mm -hmm. since we had baby alpacas and we did take rufus to the vet several months back and found that he was sterile he cannot breed any longer but we wanted to get past winter we didn't want baby alpacas born in the winter time so we've been kind of keeping our eye out for Another male alpaca, all right? Look what are you laughing pump, about? Pumpkin on him. Cap's pushing him around. We, I mean, they are like brothers. They they do match. They do match. <clears throat> so we weren't wanting to get another male back during the winter because we just had to find the male and then keep him separated because we didn't want 
well their gestation period is basically a year 11 to 12 months so we kind of waited until spring just so happened we found a male alpaca that wasn't too far from us so now we got to figure out what we're gonna do with rufus what are you gonna do with rufus uh well we're gonna separate him probably put him over uh with the goats uh hopefully there won't be any controversy across the fence uh because we want to put the new one with the girls and um see how that goes okay so you go catch rufus and uh, get him put in with the goats and i'll show everybody the new surprise i don't think so i don't think i'll catch rufus i did it the other day for you yeah well he's your buddy so <laughs> Steve, would you go tell Rufus that I need him to come over here, please? He said no, thank you. He's your friend. All right, Rufus. We went through this the other day. I need you to cooperate. Look at there. That wasn't too bad. Come on. Come on, Rufus. I know it makes no sense to have two male alpacas. But we can't get rid of Rufus, man. Rufus is my buddy. He's like a, <laughs> he's like become a farm mascot. Yeah. So we are gonna have Rufus gelded or castrated. He is not fertile. He's not producing babies for us anymore. So really, honestly, most, most livestock producers, if their male's not any good, going down the road. But Rufus has become too much of a mascot. So we're gonna have him fixed just to see if That'll keep him and the other male from fighting too much. If we had two in, oh, got a, sorry, you had a horse fly. If we had two intact males, it would probably just fight all the time. We don't want that. So we're gonna start off by getting Rufus fixed, get him gelded and see if they can hang out together. If not, we'll just have to keep them in separate pens. You go hang out with the goats, buddy. I don't know if you guys can hear it on video, but that cow licking that mineral block is the most annoying sound. It's like I can hear it echoing through the woods down here. And I don't know why. All right, time for the big reveal. Yep. I'll let DJ do the big reveal. I'm going to have to run interference because there's two other men over here that think they need out. Everybody's curious. They're like, who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Joe, Steve, get back. Come on, fellas. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Back up. Back up, unless you want on the trailer. We can make those arrangements if we need to. Show us your alpaca. Meet, no name. No name. <laughs> no name yet. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on out. I got uh, I got some lovely ladies out here for you. Joe. Oh my gosh. Joe, you're gonna have to get back, bro. Nope. I'll take the camera. Did he kick at you? Nope. What, you worried about Joe? Well, I'm I'm just concerned, so you're gonna take over. Come on, Joe. Come on, you don't want on the trailer. <laughs> this is a silly game. It is a silly game. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Get back. You're scaring my alpaca friend. Dude, no. Come on. I've got some lovely ladies out here for you to meet. He's like, wait a second. Hey, look at the girls. We're stalling. Hey. Hey. Stay here. Look, I've got a lovely mother-daughter combination. <laughs> they look like twins, but they're really a mom and a daughter. Uh, look. Mm. 
Welcome. Welcome. I said, I said, welcome. Oh, I thought you said, look em. No, welcome. Dolly's in the barn. Oh, there she is. Rufus noticed. Oh, Rufus is not going to be happy about this. He's built totally different than Rufus, man. You know what? Well, we're just going to have to watch for a little while and see. That's probably the, the weakest fence I have on the property right now is this one. So what we may end up doing is moving Rufus to another pasture where they're not actually sharing a fence. But we'll see. I know Rufus is probably gonna not be happy about it, but the new male doesn't seem aggressive at all. Mm -mm. Hey, look, two pigs. Yeah, exactly. We got two pigs. We got Steve too. Now we just gotta find Pepper a boyfriend, huh? <laughs> No, you don't need a boyfriend? Living that single life, huh? You, you've got, you got it covered around here, don't you? Don't you, Steve? <clears throat> Tina, get up here. Meet your new boyfriend. Tina, what's the deal? Hello? Everybody else seems to be making pretty decent introductions. Well, may not be quite as exciting as the first time Rufus met the ladies. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not so far. <laughs> Maybe we'll give it a few minutes. I mean, the, the minute Rufus met the ladies for the first time, we know what he had on the brain. Yes, yes. Um, Maybe it's just taking these a little, a little time to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus doesn't seem to be too, um, too distraught, too worried. It's kind of odd because usually any other time we've brought in another animal, mm -hmm. Rufus does this like high squeal, like alpaca alert noise, yeah. and like gets all upset whether it's a goat, a cow, or anything. Mm -hmm bringing this new alpaca in and he's like meh I don't know yeah I don't know I don't know hey hey <laughs> hey back up it's not time to wrestle he says it's always time. yeah he likes <laughs> to play <laughs> well DJ did it again I did now we gotta wait a year to see if we get any baby alpacas that's the only thing that stinks you know what I like about my goats five month gestation i can have baby goats on the ground hey, hey what? look out what's happening bro you got me confused he wants to know where your treats are <laughs> i don't have them with me Ellie. It's not that's what your baby donkey oh does gosh, fallon what? fallon does the exact same thing different he's getting me all dirty <laughs> I think he's just pumpkin on everyone. He likes doing that to Pepper because she squeals so loud. You don't push on Steve. Huh. I wonder why. I wonder why. Been kicked in the head once or twice there. A little Joe.
<laughs> I don't think that alpaca's ever seen a donkey. No. Yeah, he is. Oh, Steve got too close. Well, well that was pretty uneventful and drama free. It was. I'm kind of glad. I was really kind of worried what how Rufus was going to react and how the new male was going to react to Rufus. I agree. And they don't seem to care too much i mean rufus is walking the fence line he's definitely interested but they're not trying to fight <laughs> uh oh joe got a scent of something i can't i don't know what he smelled oh my gosh hmm. she must have farted oh my gosh daniel <laughs> so so i guess we'll just wait a few hours and come back and check in and see how introductions have gone and see if uh our new alpaca male he's way across the pasture by himself he really doesn't seem bothered by anybody except steve yeah steve's a pretty scary guy he's a pretty intimidating you know <laughs> no, he's you know not. how those guys are with little man syndrome they can be they can be bullies sometimes but anyways we'll give it a few hours and yeah. see i guess you need to feed uh yeah I've you got need it. to feed phoebe anyways don't you yes so i'll be back down here shortly yeah Time for everyone's daily dose of donkey fun. <laughs> Here comes Fallon. Hey, this is not Fallon. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're right. You weren't looking. Fallon was coming towards you. She took one step. Don't stop. You're going to end up with a donkey uh, kebab. Donkey kebab. I uh, forgot. Hey. <laughs> I told you not to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot the bottle out here. Phoebe! See, I'm confusing Fallon and Phoebe's name. Could you imagine what it would be like if you oh named Fallon, Fifi, Fifi and been, Phoebe? That would have been a terrible idea, DJ. Yeah, exactly. I dodged a bullet there. All right, Linda. Hey, turd. Did you just kick me in the leg? Hey, quit! <laughs> Excuse you. Really? Hey. We're going to have to have a talk about personal space. <laughs> she has. And, and what that means for people. Don't you kick me either. What? Well, kick you? She wouldn't do that. <laughs> she definitely did yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Come here, baby. Hey. What are you doing? How's your forehead? Huh? They like their belly scratched. Me too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse you, could you get out of her way, please? Really? I was talking to you, not her. Oh, exactly. I'm definitely in her way. Come here, Phoebes. Hey, I don't have to be in my lap. Fallon, just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> Hey. You can play with mom. She gets her feelings hurt when you come to me over her. <laughs> she always comes to me first. <laughs> really? Yeah, she's been over here with me and you hadn't been videoing. Whatever. Yeah, here she comes. Easy. Why are you scared of that pig? Pepper. You scared my friend away. Why did you do that? Huh? I didn't bring you any treats. So it's the next day. I didn't uh, finish the video last night. I wanted to give them a full day just to see how everybody would uh, intermix and mingle and see if there was any tensions between Rufus and the new donkey poodle stud muffin and uh no tension so far 
He's still a little bit leery. You just saw, I was standing right next to him until Pepper came over, the pig. And Pepper kind of spooked him away. He's probably never been around a pig is my guess, but he's uh, blending in with the ladies just fine. I don't know. No, uh, no excitement whatsoever really, but he's not, he's not wild, not spooky. He's uh, gonna take a couple days for him to, uh oh, <laughs> Tina said get away from me. It's gonna take him a couple days to get used to everybody and everything, all the new sights and sounds and I like watching him interact. <laughs> Tina's like, you keep your distance, sir. He is a uh, large framed male alpaca though, compared to Rufus. Rufus is much slimmer and sleeker skinnier neck skinnier legs which this guy's got a lot of hair on him right now it'll be interesting to see how big he is once we get him sheared but uh he looks like he's going to be a good a good stud for us we'll see no breeding action yet but you know who knows these girls you know may cycle in a couple weeks we'll see we'll keep an eye on everything real close and maybe just maybe we'll get these three female alpacas bred pretty soon because um, clearly Rufus was not producing and not going to produce but we did schedule an appointment with our vet she's actually going to come here and uh, do the surgery to to geld or castrate Rufus which may you know may not be necessary but I am it, I, I do like that they're not trying to fight through the fence and everything <laughs> But that may change when these females start cycling and the pheromones and hormones are in the air. Rufus may get a little testy. So we're hoping that by gelding him, he'll kind of lose some of that, uh, that urge and not want to fight the other male. And maybe eventually we'll be able to put them all back together. But I'm just not sure about that. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see if he can get these girls bred pretty soon. And... Uh, then we'll work from there. Maybe eventually <clears throat> after the females get bred, we can put Rufus and the other male together separate from the females so they're not harassing them while they're pregnant. I don't know. It's a donkey poodle world here that we are by no means experts in. We just wanna see if we can have babies again. We have three females. We have three female alpacas or donkey poodles as we like to call them. We'd like to get them bred and have babies again because you guys love to see the babies. We love to see the babies and it is a working farm. We are breeding animals to sell babies for profit. So it's part of what we do. And when you invest in animals like alpacas that uh, cost a little bit of money, you want to make some money back on them. But anyways, all is well. New alpaca on the farm, DJ's happy. Maybe the girls will be happy with their new uh, boyfriend. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.